Hey everybody, welcome to the Binding of Isaac. My name's Yusung. To give you a little background, right? So the Binding of Isaac is a game that came out a long, long time ago. It is one of the best roguelike games to ever exist, period. And I fell in love with it and I played it until I got the Dead God achievement, which means all the achievements in the game. Now, how long did this take? A whopping 638 hours. Now, that was time that I could have spent mm, developing social skills, maybe being a better significant other than I currently am, uh, learning how to cook. Uh, the point is, I regret uh, none of it. Well, <laughs> I regret some of it, but I fell in love with the game. Uh, I fell in love with it too because I watched Northern Lion, the king, uh, playing this game on YouTube and streaming it. So. I wanted to do the same, right? Because imitation is the highest form of flattery, and I wanted to start all over. This is a daunting, daunting um, idea, because it might mean signing up for another 638 hours of gameplay, which, let's be fair, yeah, things have been pretty slow around here. I'm pretty sure I could do it. Um, but just to give you an idea, so this, this first episode is probably going to explain the game a little bit more than any of the preceding episodes. Like... The game has existed so long that I think uh, a lot of the mechanics will be familiar to a lot of players. And also, if you're watching this, you'll probably have watched a lot of other people play it. So let's do it, okay? New run, new save, The Binding of Isaac. I'll explain the rules as we go in. So right now, we can only do uh, Isaac. And we can do hard mode. I don't mind doing hard mode because we'll need to eventually unlock everything on hard mode anyway. And don't worry about greed mode just yet. We'll get there when we get there. So let's take a look at this, right? So you have a little boy. His name is Isaac, and he shoots tears. The you have three um, health, health hearts. I took biology as a teenager, uh, and the map you'll see on the top right hand corner is going to be uh, different every single time. So this is what uh, it means by roguelike, right? So we can fire our tears to defeat the enemies. Not only that, not only is the map layout different every single time. Uh, the rooms in those specific layouts are going to be different every single time. Uh, so it's like the room to our right was this room with the spikes and the rotating stuff and the red fires. It's not going to be that the next run that we play. Um, so what's ubiquitous in terms of all uh, Isaac runs and all roguelikes? Um, we got some keys. Our consumables are going to be bombs and keys. But every floor, uh, like we see here to our left, there's going to be an item room where we get an item and a boss room where we fight a boss and that's gonna allow us to proceed into the next floor. So as you can see there, we just took some damage because uh, I was glancing. I was glancing over at myself. What, what do you want me to say, okay? Uh, Narcissus had the river, me, an OBS monitor. Um, okay, so this is really, really cool. Hopefully I'll get to uh, showcase a lot of new items here. Or all of them are gonna be new because it's a new save file, but what did we just get? Well, we just got sad bombs. So regularly, if we would just drop a bomb, it would be a bomb. But now let's drop a bomb. It fires tears. Our bombs are so sad, they're crying, okay? Um, and also, I've taken so much damage this run. It's actually a little humiliating, let's be honest, because like, in order to get all the achievements, in order to get Dead God, you need to play as some characters down the line where like taking damage at all is like a no-go. This game gets really, really difficult and really, really punishing. Now, don't read too much into my psyche, okay? Oh, you sung the masochist, you sung blah, blah, blah. Uh, save that for the Discord server and the message boards, okay? Not the YouTube comments. Um, like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more, by the way. The reason that I also wanted to do these is because, like, Northern Lion released his videos, and I, I love them so much that uh, I would use them as, like, a sleeping aid. And so, no joke, I'm putting these videos out as, like, a public service for more people to have sleeping aids. I will try not to scream. I'm not, like, a really big screaming guy. So, what is this room to our right? Well, it's like a, it's like a curse room, right? So, it costs half of a heart to get in. And not only that, like, the rewards here sometimes aren't really good. But sometimes the rewards in there are amazing. Uh, so, we always check. That's why we always check. Now, there's also this thing in Isaac called secret rooms where, like, you can see the map layout on the top, um top right right well sometimes there will be rooms that are only accessible by bombs that don't show up on the regular layout so unfortunately i'm having a little bit of a hard time finding them but this is definitely going to be one i think 
There we go. So there's a secret room. Now, Yusung, how do you know what's a secret room and what's not? Sometimes you can tell what's a secret room, like, uh... Because th there's two secret rooms on every floor. And I'm, I, I apologize for pausing the game so much. But again, this is the first episode. So we have to talk about the mechanics a lot. So some secret rooms have a lot of bordering uh, or adjacent rooms to them, right? Like this one is probably a secret room. We're using all of our bombs here. It feels pretty bad. Nice. And then the second secret room, which is one that we found to our um, uh, bottom left, uh, is one that does not have any adjacent rooms. So we can see the... the the first secret room or the uh, has no adjacent rooms the second secret room that we found has um several adjacent rooms and the nomenclature is a little bit different because some people refer to uh that bottom left one is the super secret room which i think we should do i think we should do so the super secret room has nothing adjacent to it the regular secret room has a lot of rooms adjacent to it i feel like that's the most long-winded explanation that i could possibly give you also, you'll notice that um, our first boss, we used two bombs to clear uh, quickly, but it gave us an item and that was meat. So you'll you'll notice that our max health has increased and our damage, which you can see on the on the left side left hand side of the screen has increased. Now you'll also notice something. What's that devil icon with 100% next to it? It means that if we go through this floor without taking any red hearts worth of damage, we will be able to enter a deal with the devil, which I would to be honest with you, love to do. Now we can use this bomb to blow up some of the rocks to um, get to this chest over here. We can also use a bomb to get to that like golden treasure chest and use a key. However, um, every floor besides the first floor, you'll need to use a key to get into the treasure room or the item. Oh my God, we got hit. Oh God, oh God. Uh, so I wanna save my uh, key for that. So now you'll notice we have a much lower chance of getting a deal with the devil. That's on me. That's definitely on me. Okay. But now we have two keys, so we can do this stapler. Let's go. So the stapler is just a damage up, which you'll love to see in this game. And Isaac, damage ups are kind of like king. Like, I, I feel like a lot of players would rather take damage ups over almost any other uh, type of item. Also, the luck here is just nuts. Holy moly. So this is a really good item in this curse room. It's the pact, which gives you damage and tears up. Not only that, you'll see we have some black hearts next to our red hearts. And so black hearts are non-refillable. As in like when they're gone, they're gone forever, okay? Um, but when when they get depleted, uh, they deal damage to every enemy in the room, which is really nice. Marked directed tears. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been a while since I last played Isaac. So now we kind of control our tears like this. I'm not a huge fan of this item. This item probably like benefits you if you're playing with a controller. Uh, because it's easier to like aim but i'm playing keyboard and mouse right now quite frankly the only way to play isaac if you have any dissenting opinions please let me know in the comments below um but it's like hard to uh like turn your tears around you know we also got a blue heart which are black hearts uh but they uh they don't deal damage to every enemy once they get depleted so you you'll start to see like a, a really common strategy right is to get blue heart or soul hearts or black hearts in order to protect your red hearts so that you can take damage without um, diminishing your potential to get a deal with the devil. Now, what are some things that we have here, right? There's a blood bank. So you can see that we can donate our blood to this machine in order to get a, a lot of uh, money. And uh, this is really nice because also if we donate a lot of blood, we have the chance to get a blood bank. Anyway, I understand this is a ton of new information, um, and if you're probably, if you're watching this, you probably don't need all that information. But the point is, let's donate a lot of money, so, or let's donate a lot of blood so we can get a lot of money so that we can spend our money in the shop. Now, the shop is kind of like the treasure room, but like it sounds, you'll have to, um, spend some money. So the compass is really nice. It tells us where the, where the boss room is. We can now see that skull in the top right-hand corner. Um, and it allows us to, like, uh, beeline towards the bosses in later floors, which is going to be really, really nice. Uh, okay, this is a little spooky. I'll say it, spooky wooky. Look, a lot of streamers won't use that language because they th they're too scared of how it'll make them look. Not me, okay? Spooky wooky is the most accurate way to describe that situation. Isaac versus Gemini. Okay, this boss is a little scary because of the fact that we have uh, directed tears. And also, keep in mind, there's still a 30... Oh, God. There's still a 36% chance that we uh, get a deal with the devil. Um, so not all hope is lost. 
Also, I'll explain this right now. If you reject a deal with the devil, you have a chance on the subsequent floors to get a deal with the angel. And so deal with the devils, you take those items by uh, paying your max health. Um, so like you'll be able to take a really powerful item, but you'll lose two red heart containers permanently I'm also bad at the game now. I'm also bad at the game now If, if you're a seasoned Isaac player if you have some red pepper flakes on you and, and you're uh, w Watching this and you played a lot of Isaac. You're like how in the world did you manage to get dead God? I have no idea. So we unlocked a new item nice We also get a HP up and we got the elusive 36% deal with the devil Okay, these are both great. You'll see the prices for these below. So this costs one red heart, so we go from five to four, but we get the Book of Belial, which is an active item. So now when we smash that like button, aka the space bar, uh, we'll get a damage up for a room. Not only that, we get this, the mark, which is a damage up and a speed up. So this will be really, really nice uh, for future uh, rooms. We can also see a lot of Isaac's past trauma. There's Isaac getting gifted a... Uh, literal box of poop so we have some stuff here we have some stuff here we definitely want to go to the 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 item room the treasure room and i'll show you what this looks like if i press the space bar you'll see that our damage has increased in, to 9.1 and now our, our tears are just kind of tearing through the enemies which is really really nice again i kind of wish that we didn't have um this marked item so that we can more easily aim our tears but that's okay um, and we've, we've gotten really lucky because on some Isaac runs, you just won't get a lot of damage upgrades. So you'll kind of like be suffering later in the run, uh, just because it'll take you like 17 years to, to, uh, destroy one basic enemy. Okay. You'll also notice that some enemies are kind of like glowing. Those are champions and they deal a uh, one full heart of damage. Whereas the normal ones will only deal a uh, half a heart of damage. Okay. That's probably enough explaining of the game. I'll, I'll, uh do it ad hoc for the for the rest of this game uh but yeah so the reason that i fell in love with like northern lion playing isaac is because of the banter right it's why it's why any of us are here and so hopefully if if people are if people are down if people are um picking up what i'm putting down so to speak uh we we can just get into we can get into a banner banner generation machine okay and that's honestly what i want because i've realized that like um, the reason that I like YouTube so much is because um, I just really like playing things in the background and just having some audio to distract me from the crippling loneliness of existence. And so uh, I would like to very much so provide that service for other people. Not only that, I am an only child. So how do you how, how do I say this? I'm attention starved. I believe that is a that is a fair way to describe it. And so I will also like it if I just get to talk. You know what I mean? Like the sound of my own voice oh god is not great uh but i love it because i'm again i love attention um so this is again i don't want to lose my very first isaac run that i'm recording uh that would be mm, what's the english word for this oh yeah utterly humiliating but this marked item <laughs> this might be an item that we do not take in the future because uh, it makes aiming really really difficult okay press the button finish this room okay now we save our active item so that we can get this damage up for Peep, uh, a new boss. You'll notice that he has a lot of urine-based attacks, uh, which is what I also did for the first, I, would, I don't know, two or three years of my human life. Okay. And also, like, don't get me wrong. P some people are, like, insulted. Like, imagine that it would be insulting to hear, like, oh, I put your videos on to sleep to. Not me, okay? Not me. Uh, I take that as a sign of great responsibility because like, you know how much I have to trust you in order to fall asleep to your voice? I have to trust you an inordinate amount, okay? Like, to the fact where I'm like, I know that if I fall asleep, you will not be incepting me with Squarespace ads or like something else, you know what I mean? Uh, so if you fall asleep to this, Oh my God, I will be, I, I'll be extremely grateful. You can let me know if you fall asleep to this. I will be extremely, extremely flattered. So this is a, uh, a challenge room where if we opened up those chests, we would have to face three ways of enemies. Unfortunately, the rewards weren't that great. We got a troll bomb and a regular bomb, uh, but it's not terrible. We'll also be able to, uh, we, we should have uh, maybe done some other rooms so that we had to book a Belial charge. So we could have had a damage up for the entirety of this room. Uh, it's okay that we didn't though. This shouldn't be super, super hard. Um, yeah, but also like to just tell you why uh, Isaac itself is so like addicting. 
I probably shouldn't say addicting because that's that's re that has some really uh, negative connotations, right? Um, but it's like it's like life, you know what I mean? Sometimes in life you get blessed with a great start in some situations, right? Like we got the pact early on, we got the stapler early on, really good items, and, and so you get to like coast and you get to enjoy the easy times. Sometimes in life it's the hard times. You accidentally pick up marked, thus making your your uh, first video an incredibly tedious exercise of patience, right? Um, and you have to fight to create your own victory. And and I like both sides of Isaac. Now, granted, there's there's some uh, <laughs> there's some aspects of Isaac that I think some people would criticize as like terribly RNG focused, like um, terribly terribly luck based. And I agree with that. Like, it, it's all about the items that you get, right? It's it's a hundred percent about the items that you get. However, um, that's part of the charm, right? Sometimes you get screwed, and which, but it makes the times where you aren't getting screwed. Uh, a lot more enjoyable, you know what I mean? Also, if you wanted an example of times where uh, I haven't gotten screwed, you would just look at the look at the first like I don't know, 23 years of my life, uh, and that would you know that'd be a great starting place. Okay. Book a wild charge. Okay, we explored this whole floor. I don't know if we necessarily want to visit the shop because we don't have enough. We can take this pill to see what it does. So amnesia makes us forget the layout of the floor. Obviously, that's not great. Um, but luckily I think I vaguely recall, uh, that the, the boss room is on the bottom left. So we can, we can go do that. And I think too, the earlier runs of Isaac, like, uh, aren't going to be as long as some of the later runs, just because like the game has a lot of like, uh, like it's, it's cool because with every Isaac run, you can kind of choose where you want to end up. Like there's multiple branching paths. Um, and so, uh, but at the start, of course, all of those aren't going to be available to you right off the bat, right? Okay, so now we are, we might be encountering some uh, more difficult enemies. With every two floors, there's going to be like a bigger jump in difficulty. So we're just on the um, the caves two right now. So this floor isn't going to be that much different than the floor previous to us. But the next floor, oh boy, we might be encountering some real doozies of enemies there. Also, the 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 plot of this game. Your mother, and this is not a joke, by the way. This is not a roast. This is the, the actual lore of the game. So Isaac is a boy, and his mother, uh, like, thinks that she hears God's voice telling him, telling her to sacrifice Isaac. So this is Isaac's journey to get out of the basement and to uh, d defeat his own mother. I know. It's very, very gruesome, right? There's a lot of biblical allusions, um in this game. Uh, so you have a problem with the source material, I don't know. Uh, talk to the Pope, I guess? Uh, the Pope didn't write the Bible, I know that. Okay, all right, here we go. Give me something good, please. Stem cells is okay. It's just an HP and a shot speed upgrade. There's also something to this game, right? Where like, if you're just starting out, you won't know what the items do. And so it's like really exciting because eventually you'll start to recognize, take this pill, explosive diarrhea means we drop a lot of bombs. Uh, don't necessarily love that. It's demon judgment, maybe. Uh, let's sacrifice some of our health to this guy and see if we can get a good item as a result. Okay. Got the Empress. Sacrifice one more. We are we are dangerously close to death here. However, you can notice there's a room uh, that has like a sword on the top uh, at the top of our screen. We almost walked into that fire. I'm gonna shoot it right now so we don't die a humiliating death. Um, we can only enter this if we have one heart left. So let's use this and let's use that Empress tarot card that we got for a temporary speed and damage upgrade. So in order to take this item, we're gonna have to fight two uh, bosses. So I think we can do this. Unfortunately, Marked makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, I also realized immediately, right? So I've watched Northern Lion play Isaac for, I don't know, like honestly, like 10 years, right? And sometimes, I hate to admit this, but you get a little mad, right? You get a little upset, like, oh my God, I can't believe he did this like giant misplay or whatever. Um, I'm telling you right now, talking while playing Isaac is like a minus 15 debuff to your gameplay. I'm not even joking. It like it genuinely changes things. So I have a lot, I have a lot more respect for for my uh, king uh, now that I've experienced it firsthand. Okay, some terrible damage, just some terrible damage. I'm telling you right now, this this is not, this is not indicative of my Isaac skill. Okay, I promise you, I'm actually kind of a beast at Isaac. Okay, this guy only pops up once in a while. 
I think too, even though that we don't have enough uh, money to make this shop totally worthwhile, like we won't be able to afford, oh, afford a 15 cent item. Okay, we, we need to buy some health, which is embarrassing, right? Cause like good Isaac players will leverage health as a resource. Oh my God, it's greed. Okay, we blow up this rock with an X on it because uh, typically those drop soul hearts, which are really, which are gonna be really, really good for us. Granted, we love to fill up our red heart containers too. He took some damage there. Um, but that might be a luxury at the present moment, right? I promise you, I... <laughs> I promise you I have a girlfriend. She just goes to a different school, okay? I promise I'm genuinely, like, a little okay at Isaac. <laughs> it's a confluence of a lot of factors right now. What do we do here? So this, this chest requires, oh my god, some bombs that we need to blow up. But in order to get there, we first need to drop a bomb. Uh, to create a bridge for us over the gap. Unfortunately, it's spat out a regular chest, but I'll take those red hearts. I'll take those red hearts, absolutely. Um, okay, so now you'll notice that we don't have an 100% chance to get a deal with the devil uh, every single floor, but now it's uh, back to 73%, um, which is really, really good. Let's blow up this slot machine. It's my commentary on the current state of Twitch and uh, fight this. So this this is a boss called Mega Fatty. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of like dangerous attacks. This this one's pretty easy to avoid. The jump is probably the most difficult attack to avoid, but so long as you're always moving, you should be fine. Also, our range is not that hot, right? Like we're having, sometimes we're having trouble, um, like our tears reaching this guy. So that's why range upgrades are sometimes valuable. Little Chubby has appeared in the basement, cool. Also, Synth Oil, a damage and range up. Two great stats for us. So that's really, really nice. Okay, drinking some more tea. I'm drinking again, Mei Cha. Again, I can I can do the correct Chinese pronunciation. I think it's... No, I don't even know if I can do the correct Chinese pronunciation. I know that tea in Chinese, because I, I, I uh, was born in China. Uh, my parents <laughs> are Chinese, I don't know. <laughs> and so, like, uh, I can speak Mandarin, but, like, really, really poorly. Because uh, we moved to the States when I was four, right? So I know that tea is cha. Gen Mai Cha is, might be the, the Chinese pronunciation. That could be terribly, terribly wrong. Let me know in the comments if, if, uh, if that's bad. Uh, and of course, I would love a lesson on how to pronounce, uh, pronounce it. So Mom's Wig, it doesn't, it's not a stat upgrade, right? You're like, what does it do? I think that this item uh, just like spawns friendly spiders once in a while. And also you can see that we got a trinket, we got a lighter. And so what I think the lighter does, and I could turn on like a mod that gives you item descriptions, but there's just something beautiful about playing Isaac uh, without any mods that, um, I don't know, I kinda I kind of love the simplicity of it, where sometimes you legitimately don't know what a, what a thing does, you know? So the lighter like lights a few enemies on fire with every room that we go into, which is really, really it's gonna be helpful in dealing some damage for us. So here's the thing. We could buy the deck of cards where every six charges, it, it spawns us a um, a uh, a random tarot card, which is obviously a great help. But unfortunately, we can only carry uh, one active item at a time. And right now we have the Book of Belial, which I love. So let's donate to the donation machine. So what is the donation machine? Well, like every time you go to the shop or most times you go to the shop, there'll be a donation machine and it carries over from run to run. So like with every Isaac run, once you finish that run or, or die, uh, that run's gone forever. You can't like continue it. There are some weird instances where you can, but for the most part, like you can't continue it. You just have to start a new run. That's another trinket. I don't think we're, we're really interested. Flatworm, it changes our tears. Yeah, I don't think we're really that interested. Uh, but the donation machine carries over. And so you can place a bomb near the donation machine to like withdraw some money that you put in before. So if you have a really weak run, you can leverage the donation machine to get some benefits. Okay. Give us uh, something good, please. Panic button. Push in case of emergency. I don't know what that does. That is a trinket where I don't know what you do. But I, I kind of like the lighter. Unfortunately, we sacrificed a lot of our health. But sometimes that demon beggar can uh, pay out with a really powerful item. Like the pact, for instance. Um, okay, these guys are really scary. Uh, but luckily, we play that room immaculately. Again. Oh, what's this? You're starting to believe me that I'm a good Isaac player? Drop a bomb here because skulls can sometimes drop black hearts, sometimes drop tarot cards. This is the deaths one. Okay. This is a boss called the cage. This boss is genuinely very, very difficult. Luckily, we have the lighter helping us out. Yeah, that attack's really difficult to dodge. The shockwaves that come out after 
after this guy lands is, is really difficult. This rolling attack. Yeah, I just I just stood in the, the, the line of fire. Great, great moves. Again, the reason that marked is really difficult is because like normally in Isaac, you're just able to like direct like one in one instance be shooting your tears to the left, and then the next second be, be be shooting your tears to the right. Everybody look to the left. Anyone else watch Pitch Perfect recently? Oh my god. This is incredible. So this is one of the best items in the entire game. And I'm so happy that it came to us on our first our first ever uh, video. You unlocked Azazel. Nice. We unlocked a different character. This is Brimstone. Not only that, we picked up enough devil items this game where we unlocked Leviathan. So you can see that her tears, instead of just being a measly uh, plop plop of little, of little blue orbs, um... We now fire a giant laser that goes over rocks and pierces through enemies, which is really, really nice. Okay, Hematemesis, which is really, really nice. It drops a bunch of red hearts so we can keep playing this demon beggar. Hopefully, I can show you um, the ultimate payout, which is going to be like an item or something down the line. It's okay if it doesn't. Nice. Okay, we got sin uh, ceremonial robes and we unlocked Lazarus. Nice, which is a damage and evil up. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know what the evil up does. Uh, but the damage up is certainly nothing to scoff at. And you can see some of those blue friendly spiders that are um, Mom's Week spawn for us. Also, you'll notice that because we got the terrible damage, the Leviathan transformation, we can now fly. Flying is really, really, really helpful in this game. So so that's a, that's a great boon for sure. Um, okay. Unfortunately, the marked and brimstone means that our brimstone laser will just fire whenever it's finished, which is fine by me. You'll also see some chests are mimics, and you can still open those, and they'll still give you, like, the regular stuff that a chest might give you, but it costs half a heart to open, which I don't really want to pay right now. And you can just see why brimstone is so satisfying, right? It, it just feels so good um, to, like, at the start of a run, be, like, just the normal default Isaac, and then to feel yourself get so much stronger throughout the rest of the run. It's brilliant. It's I'm not I'm not even joking. It's brilliant game design. It's why I've spent 600 plus hours in this game. Anyway, okay. I also would like to say something about this tea. Okay, the way that I grew up drinking tea was that like my family would just put some loose leaf tea into a cup and then put boiling water in it. So you would have to learn at a young age like how do I drink this tea without ingesting any of the leaves, right? It's pretty it's pretty tough, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. And so like, even now, I understand that other people are like, quote unquote, adults, and they have like little, uh, not colanders, but like little things in which you put your tea leaves so that it doesn't get everywhere. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna hit you with a hot take, that's weak sauce, that's weak sauce, okay? You wanna you wanna know what a child does? They use a little uh, diffuser thing. You wanna know what an adult does? Accidentally eat uh, like three tea leaves over the course of every cup of tea that they drink. This is a lie, by the way. I don't. I actually think it's like. A, oh okay. Um. Okay, this is a terrible idea. Just bait them out this way. Oh my god, you sunk. Uh. But anyway, the the, the point is, whenever you can get a roasted rice tea. Holy moly. It, it is genuinely one of the best teas out there. Not not gonna lie. And um, you get to see the rice uh, in your teacup, and that's a lot of fun. Because you're like, you're not even supposed to be here, my guy. You're supposed to be in a bowl or a plate or something. Okay. You get. We also got a fire tier, so our, our tears are now going to uh, burn enemies, which is nice. Okay. Unfortunately, I would love to donate the rest of our money, but we don't have ex um, we don't have a donation machine here. I also think that this this run is definitely a victory. We we have brimstone, which is one of the most powerful, uh, which is one of the most powerful items in the game, which is really really really, really nice. Okay, it, it kind of uh cancels out the jankiness of marked. <laughs> this is I sometimes it feels really bad because you'll have to like skip an item in Isaac, and you're like, man, this could have been an item that like actually made me stronger, but this is an item that could theoretically make things worse, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, and that feels really bad, but I think marked is like, no, 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 no. It, it gives you a slight tears up, so you'll fire, like, um, at a faster rate, but I don't think it's worth it. So we can see Isaac versus Mom. This is one of the first, like, big boss fights. So you can see, like, uh, Mom Doobie stomping her foot down. Let's use our Book of Belial for a temporary damage up. You can also see that she's spawning a lot of enemies. We just got stomped on right there. God, I wish that were me. Anyone else down horrendous? Okay. You can see the shadow of the foot 
um, start to appear before the foot actually does. So that's a, that's a good way to dodge. So this is the this is one of the endings to the game. Now keep in mind, in the later runs of Isaac, uh, runs can last up to like 50 minutes. So this is just because we're starting out in the game right now. Okay, I'll let I'll let the cutscene right out. End of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong. She's too strong. But just as he accepted his fate, okay. God intervened, a holy sending moly. an angel down from above to stop his It's literal head. divine intervention. And just like that, it was over. I won? <laughs> this is this is one of the several endings of uh, Isaac. Uh-oh. So let's see what we've unlocked now. I think we unlocked like a, like some more stuff. You unlocked the womb, so now uh, we have two more floors to go through at the end. Oh, we unlocked a whole bunch of challenges. Oh my god. Speed. Okay, I have a heart. We unlocked so many challenges. Oh my goodness. I forgot that this started. Cube of Meat, a reference to another one of Edmund McMillan's game, Super Meat Boy, which is also incredible. Alright, that's gonna do it for today. Leave a like and a comment if you if you if you want to see more. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4 p.m. PST. I hope you join us there. Uh, we also have a lovely Discord community uh, linked below. Um, I'll see you soon. I'll upload videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. But until then, please take care of yourself. Be kind and patient to yourself, and make sure to drink some water. Okay. All right. I'll see you next time. Peace.